Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tutor Bhaiya. So today we are going to discuss about bronchial asthma and its classification. So to follow me on Instagram for motivational reels and posts, you may go and search at Instagram at the rate underscore mad underscore studygram underscore underscore and to get all these notes, join us at MBBS study group in Telegram. So starting with bronchial asthma, has impairment of airflow due to bronchial asthma is impairment of airflow due to first reason can be contraction of smooth muscles that is bronchial spasm, swelling of bronchial mucosa that is mucosal edema and increased mucosal secretion. So any of the three above condition can cause bronchial asthma that is contraction, swelling and increased bronchial mucus secretion. The airway obstruction is mainly due to release of mediators, mediators from the muscles of lungs that are uh, muscle in lungs, and these mediators can be histamine, serotonin, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, proteases, etc. Now we have two asthma: the acute and the chronic. In acute asthma, it is characterized by episodes of dyspnea, always uh, associated with expiratory wheezing. In chronic asthma, continuous wheeze and breathlessness on exertion, mucoid sputum and cough with recurrent infection can be seen. Now talking about the classification. Now we have here five points. The first one is the bronchodilator, second is leukotriene receptors antagonist, third is mast cell stabilizers, glucocorticoids and anti-IgE monoclonal antibody. So under bronchodilators, we have symphatomimetics, methylxanthines, and anticholinergics. Symphatomimetics, selective beta-2 adrenergics agonist, agonist, in which we will have two drugs, salbutamol and terbutalin. In methylxanthines, we have theophyllins, aminophyllins, and doxophyllins. Under anticholinergics, we have ipratropium bromide and tiotropium bromide. Talking about the leukotriene receptor antagonist, we have Jaffer leucast and Monte leucast. For the mast cell stabilizers, we have sodium uh, chromoglycolate and keto tiffin. Under glucocorticoids, we have inhaled glucocorticoids and systemic glucocorticoids. Under inhaled, we can have three that is baclomethason and uh, cisleosonide uh, and budesonide and under systemic we can have hydrocortisone the second one can be uh, prednisolone and methylprednisolone under anti-IgE monoclonal antibody we can have omelijumab so hope guys you love this video this was a very short intro video and the classification of bronchial uh, classification of road drugs used in bronchial asthma so if you love this video please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Thank you for watching.